Alright everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And fellas, I have found a new way to make people rage out of their minds in Call of Duty My Warfare Rebooted. And it's this class. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. It's this class right here, man. I'm using the riot shield with the throwing knives. Now listen, man, you're never going to have like an amazing gameplay with this class setup because the riot shield is pretty broken. But you will get a lot of kills, and you will really make a lot of people mad. Uh, yo, you see the way that knife bounced right back at me? If that thing bounced and hit me in the, in the, like, in the head and killed me, I would have been laughing so hard. It wouldn't surprise me either. Look how easy it is to take out this score streak, man. Oh, my goodness. Just two shots? I think the throwing knives might have done some damage to it also. But look at this dude right here. Get on, son. I'm telling you guys, man. Hey, yo, look at this dummy, man. He's out here throwing a, a decoy grenade when no red dots show up on the minimap. <laughs> son, what are you, stupid? Tell him, 6 9 Stupid, stupid. I mean, yo, the decoy grenade's got to be broken, right? Because red dots don't show up on the mini-map. So when somebody sees, like, I'm sure the decoy grenade shows up as a red dot. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go ask the homie Drifter because, you know, he's probably tested all that. Or exclusive ace. Those are the guys that are testing everything. Uh, and look at this dude up here. Get on, son. Yo. <laughs> the throwing knives are legit in this game, boys. I'll tell you right now. If you guys haven't tried a riot shield throwing knife class please go out and make one dude it is so much fun just look at me skewering all these nerds trying to come up on this roof and camp oh my goodness man it's so fun man uh but the riot shield does have some issues uh we're gonna get into that i'm gonna show you a clip at the end of this video uh but yo look at this man look at this guy ready oh get on son <laughs> Yo, the care package is so trash in Modern Warfare, bro. I keep, I never get any good streaks, ever. It's always low, low stuff. I think I got to support Hilo once, but... And there you go, fellas. The double C4 sandwich. Yeah, I'll take two C4 sandwiches to go. There you go, man. I had EOD on, but, you know, the sweats in my lobby running Ghost and Overkill and double C4 sandwiches, they're going to they're gonna blow me up anyway, fellas. So anyway, let's segue into this gameplay on Gunrunner, probably one of the best maps in the game. LOL! Yeah, we're playing some free-for-all, and there's actually, like, three of my subscribers in this lobby. Like, as soon as I got in here, everybody was like, oh my god, Thunder, oh my god! Like, these guys, you see that mics are lighting up? Uh, Mr. Mr. Dookie? Is that that dude's name? What's that guy's name? Mr. Deaky? Hold on, let me let me make my preview screen a little bit bigger. I don't, yeah, oh yeah, Mo Diki, Mo Diki, Mo Diki. Shout out to him, one of my subscribers. Uh, super super cool dude, really good player. I think he's like a level 100 plus. But he told me he found out how to rush in this game. I was like, all right, you show me. He didn't have much luck. <laughs> I didn't have much luck rushing in this game. But I mean, let's face it, who does? Like hardly anyone can rush in this game, especially with the super thick skill based matchmaking that they have in here. I mean, you cannot combine super loud footsteps with skill based matchmaking. It's it just it, it's a recipe for disaster. Everyone in here got a pair of three hundred dollar headsets. We all can hear each other from across the map. Everybody got built in sit rep pro. But listen, man, this game, dude. I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, it's really hard to get to 30 kills in a free-for-all. So, I'm going to propose something to the developers, man. Uh, Joe Seesaw, if you ever watch this video, anyone at Affinity Ward, uh, I might tag you guys on Twitter with this video. Hey, listen, I give constructive criticism, man. When have you guys ever heard me personally insult a developer or threaten a developer? There's people on Twitter, like I see my boy Moho. Moho was talking about today on Twitter. You guys all know Moho, man. He's the guy that told me to switch my style up and watch the money pile up. Oh, yeah, I've adapted, Moho. Believe me, I've adapted. I've switched my style up, believe me. And things are going well right now. We'll see how long it lasts. But I see Moho put out tonight. He goes, yo, people giving the developers death threats? That's just uncalled for, man. Listen, you have to be respectful to these COD developers. And not just COD developers, guys. You got to be respectful to anybody if you ever want to get anything done. If you approach somebody and you're all hostile and loud and ignorant, you're never going to get anything done done man i mean i'm just you know that's just the way the world works hey listen i know there's a lot of people frustrated with this game i've seen people hate on this game who i never see hate on call of duty mark J, I i will link his video down in the description if you missed it mark J made a 30 minute plus video pouring his heart out about how much he despises this game and everything he said it's like i was going to church like every other minute i was going amen preach mark J, amen preach i mean Every single thing that's wrong with this game, Mark J pretty much hit it on the head. Uh, also, Hollow Point, man. I'm even seeing Hollow Point hate on COD. When do you see Hollow Point hate on a Call of Duty game? I mean, these guys played Advanced Warfare, Ghosts, Infinite Warfare. They loved it all. But this game, it just seems like everybody is hating on it. It's super frustrating to play. I'm only speaking about 
the multiplayer. Spec Ops is good. The campaign's amazing. I'm just talking about the multiplayer, dude. The multiplayer is super frustrating to play. And honestly, Joe Sisa is working on this. He said he's going to be fixing uh, the footsteps again. He's going to he put this tweet out. He's going to have a second round of footsteps. He is also going to address uh, claymores. <laughs> Claymore is a massive problem in this game, fellas. Hey, and you guys know how much I love my claymores, but let's be honest. They're broken. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like the quick scopers who can't admit that, you know, there's something broken in the game. I'll admit when something's broken. The claymores are a little too overpowered. Uh, EOD is terrible. EOD needs a massive buff. I get killed by explosives all the time, even when I have EOD on. And that guy must have had dead silence. I did not hear him at all. So shout out to the Claymore for saving my life right there. And don't get me wrong, fellas. I use Claymores all the time. But, yo, there's a problem. Like, if you go look at um, everyone's combat record in this game, probably half the people, half of their kills are with Claymores. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people, people probably got more Claymore kills than gun kills in this game. Uh, this game is an absolute camp fest. It's making everybody rage. But you can't be threatening developers, man. You have to approach the developers... You know, I know it's tough to maintain your chill because this game could drive people crazy, but you have to do it. And I have a proposal for Joe Sisa in Infinity War. Now, Joe, if you watch this video, listen, man, I've been playing a lot of free-for-all in this game. I like free-for-all because I'm a solo player, and I know you've got your team balancing algorithm. I don't want to be put on a team deathmatch with a bunch of Timmy No Thumbs and, and, and have to carry people 24-7. Listen, Call of Duty, all you people at Call of Duty, the skill-based matchmaking, your carry-based match algorithm... It is ab <laughs> Dude walked right in front of me. It is absolutely killing your game probably more than anything else. And don't tell me you guys do connectivity only because I'm in UK lobbies constantly. Bro, this game's been out for not even two weeks and I'm already being put in UK lobbies. And for all you people asking, how do I know if I'm in UK lobbies? Well, everyone in my lobby got a heavy, heavy British accent. And I ask the people where they're at and they tell me they're in the UK. So, I mean, you put those two things together. There you go. Watch the slide piece. Oh, get on, Modiki. <laughs> oh, Modiki, man. He told me he sharded himself when I killed him right there because I scared him because I had the dead silence on and I just like just flew in there and just, yeah, sorry about it. Go change your drawers, Modiki. Sorry about that, man. Uh, but anyway, listen, don't tell me ping is king in this game because I think we all know it's not. The skill-based matchmaking, all the weird algorithms they have in here to protect noobs. Listen, man, just put a boot camp in this game. You want to protect noobs, put a boot camp in this game, please. Let them stay in here until they're ranked 20 or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, that's fair. You don't need uh, all these algorithms, man. Listen, I come from the COD 4 era before we had all these ridiculous algorithms, and I, I still play the game. You don't need a matchmaking algorithm for the game to be fun. It's making the game worse. And another thing that I wish you would do, Joe, other than get rid of skill-based matchmaking and carry bait and all your other weird matchmaking, connectivity only in pubs, dude. That's all you need to know. Take all them other algorithms you got and just get rid of them. And here's another thing you need to do for free-for-all, man. I am tired of playing time limit free-for-all games, bro. This is ridiculous. This dude just snuck right up on me with dead silence. Did not hear him at all. GG, baby. But all the time limit free for listen, man. You got this new engine. I know you got ground war. You got 32 versus you got 64 players in ground war. Why can't you make like a free-for-all XL playlist where there's like I don't know, what do you got, eight people now? Make make 16, double the amount of players. If you put 16 players on these maps, I think people will hit 30 kills more often because like 99.9% .9 of free-for-all matches I play, fellas, nobody hits 30 kills. Like, how did this even make it past playtesting? Like I said, man, the playtesters, they're the biggest thieves in, on earth because they co-signed off on this stuff. The playtester's job is to play the game and tell the developers, hey, man, this is broken. Every single game is a time limit game. This is broken, man. Every single game, you can't move because the footsteps are super loud. And, yo, like I said, fellas, having a lot of fun with the Riot Shield class. But, yo, all the random explosions, dude. Here's another thing you need to do in your overhaul, Joe. Take out all the random things that explode in this game. Like, who likes dying to random explosions, bro? I mean, look at this. I don't even know what happened. I guess maybe the oxygen tanks behind me exploded. I don't know. I mean, how did I die? What? That explosion came from, like, behind me. I don't get it. So, Joe, get rid of all the weird random explos explosives in this game. And by the way, EOD, thank God it's getting buffed because it's total trash, dude. I mean, I even get killed by Semtex grenades when they don't even hit me. Look, the Semtex got thrown behind me and I got blown up and I got EOD on. So, thankfully, they're buffing 
Uh, EOD and Joe Sisa, Infinity War, please put 16 players on these free-for-all maps, man. Eight just doesn't work. I'm tired of playing time limit gameplays. What do you guys think? Drop down in the comment section. Let's check out this clip right here, fellas. Look at this nerd camping on top of the stairs. Get skewered, son. <laughs> oh, the Kingslayer. Yeah, you know he was a Kingslayer, man. Camping on top of the stairs, aiming at the door. What a beast. Get teabag, son. Yeah. Ooh, we got... Ooh, both ends, baby. Come on in. <laughs> Get off the top of the stairs. Stupid.